In today's video, we're gonna look at how to add an HDR map behind an architecture object in Blender 2.83. An HDRI is a panoramic photograph that covers the entire scene. The HDRI environment map is a great and easy method of how to improve the quality of your renders. It creates lights and shadows in your scene. Here we have a simple house from my older video. If you want to make a house like this, check the link in the description below. I'm gonna use cycles only for rendering, EV for setting the scenes up, because EV is faster for the viewport. We want to set an HDRI map to have the background image and some lightning to the scene. So go to the world settings, environment texture, open and find our HDRI file but first I think we need to set up the render view and on the keyboard lock camera to view now if I press ctrl r0 on the numpad my camera is looking at this view the camera is tracking the view but we can see any background because we are not in viewport shading mode so switch to it now you have a photorealistic background and lighting in your scene let's adjust the rendering angle i think this view is good for our scene for setting up hdri map in the appropriate position Go to shading, switch to world, also and to unlock camera to view. Turn on rendering mode. We need to add some nodes to change the HDRI map position. So let's add mapping and texture coordinate. I want to make the trees visible at the back. To attach nodes, just drag and drop from one point to another point. Then you connect. It loads nodes in a scene. If you want to spin HDRI map around, you need Z axis. The main axis that I adjust is Z axis. But you can try to play with I and X axis, which determines the angle of inclination. If you take this down, everything goes darker. To make render more highly quality, switch to cycles. That's how to set up. HDRI map and lightning. Thanks for watching it. I hope you learned something.